Hello, welcome to the Edirol automation recording tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to automate volume and pan in FL Studio. So we load the orchestral. Now we'll need a second plugin that is MIDI out. Now in Eddy Roll and MIDI out, we'll need to make certain changes. We need to make the pot one and here one and here one. Now the sound from channel one will be the same as sound from MIDI out channel one. We'll just increase the sound a little bit. Now to automate the volume knob of Eddy Roll with the volume knob MIDI out, we'll right click the knob and we'll remember this number 7, controller number 7. We'll open it here, right click and make this 7. Now the volume of MIDI out will be synchronized with volume knob of Eddy Roll. Let's check it. Here you go. In similar manner we'll do with the panning knob. Remember the controller number 10. Click. and make this 10 now the panning knob will be synchronized with the AD roll now to let's record some notes in the piano roll Here I am taking few notes for example. Now let's automate the volume and the panning. First we'll begin with the volume knob. Let's take on the lower side. Before you begin the automation, see whether the automation is checked. Now let's record the volume. Okay. Now let's record the panning. We will take it on the left side. So let's see whether we are done. So here you are. So before you quit the this project, save the project in the FL Studio, but don't forget to save the performance as well in the edit row. To save the performance, you'll have to click the system file and save it here so next time you open the project the whole project will be loaded as well as the edit roll but to open the performance you'll have to open the performance from here once again so load the performance and you'll get the same parameter tweaks along with the master volume so 
in this tutorial we saw how to automate the volume and the panning knob in my next tutorial i will show you some more parameter tricks i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you